Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So for this video, um, I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit old, but I think it's still relevant. And for that reason, I'm going to discuss it. And this involves this beef between Michael Blackson and Gary Owen and Gary Owen's response to this whole situation. So this is how this situation started. And before I go into the details, I'll just say this. Michael Blackson is a black comedian, an African comedian, and Gary Owen is a white comedian, for those of you who don't know. So Gary Owen was on The Breakfast Club, and he basically said that he doesn't think Michael Blackson is funny. So in response, Michael Blackson said, you want to be black so bad, don't you? He said, well, F you, nigga. Now say it black. I didn't think so. So that's basically what Michael Blackson said. He's basically challenging this guy, basically challenging them to use the N word or whatever. So Gary Owen gets on video with his wife, who is African-American, and they do a video response. So in his response, he's saying various things and he wants to use the N word. But instead of him using the N word on his own, he has his wife actually say the N word throughout the video for him. So I want to provide my commentary about this situation. I think that this is another example of low-key white racism. You know, I think that this is another example of white liberal racism where you have these people who profess to be so liberal. You know, they profess to be so down with the black community and everything. They think they're down because they can speak black slang. They think that they're down because they sleep with black women. They think that they're down because they... Uh, hang with a few black people. They have some black friends. They think that somehow that gives them a license to say and do certain things that are nothing but racist things. And, you know, despite these people claiming to be so down, they're d just like most white people. Most white people have been programmed to be racist. Just like a lot of black people have been programmed to hate themselves and to worship whiteness. Because we live in a society that constantly teaches those values. These values are taught when we open our history books that basically tell us that Africans contributed nothing to human civilization while they teach that the white man is the greatest thing ever, that he's done all kinds of marvelous things and invented all kinds of things, shaped world history while the black man has done nothing. So we're taught to hate blackness there. We're taught to hate blackness when we turn on our televisions, when we see all these negative images of black people, images of black pathology and black criminality and all that stuff. So all that stuff teaches people to believe that black people are inferior and white people are superior. And I don't think that these quote unquote liberal white people are immune from that programming. Deep down there, many of them unfortunately are just as racist as some of the most conservative, reactionary, racist people ever. Um, so that's one thing. I mean, people think that they can sleep their way out of racism. That's not true. We know that throughout history, these racists have had no problem laying down with black women or being with black women, but they didn't have any respect for black people. So, you know, I just think that the fact that you would have this white boy get his wife to use the N-word tells you how little this man actually respects black people. It tells you how little he has re regard for this for black people, even though he emulates black people, even though he wants to uh, exploit black culture, another one of these damn culture vultures. So that's the first thing. And then I have to deal with his wife, man. His wife is nothing but a coon. What else can you call someone who thinks that it's acceptable for her to allow a white man to weaponize her against her own black brother? That is a coon, a coon calling her brother a nigger for the amusement of this white boy. That's nothing but coonery and buffoonery. And it's a, it's a damn shame, man. It's a damn shame that that black woman didn't have sense enough to say, hold up, I'm not going to participate in this. I'm not going to call this black man a nigger. It's a damn shame that she didn't have that kind of sense, that kind of common logical sense to say no to that. But this is nothing that's new. This is nothing that's new. Um, we've seen this before. We've seen examples of black women in these relationships with these white racists, you know, 
we've seen it before where they are in relationships with white men, for instance, who use racial slurs against black people who have used racist terms against them and they stay in these relationships. We saw it in this article from the Essence magazine where this black woman is talking about this white husband of hers who gets off by using the N-word, gets off by making all kinds of racist statements towards her. So this is nothing new. We saw this with that video of that girl, um, Madison or whatever her name is, um, and her racist boyfriend where he's using the N word and saying all kinds of racist stuff. We see this all the time. This is nothing new. And it's just a damn shame that if you're gonna be in an interracial relationship, at least have sense enough not to marry somebody who thinks it's acceptable to be a racist. At least have sense enough not to marry a racist. At least have sense enough to check them on their racism. But this woman didn't have sense enough to do that. She allowed herself to be a, used as a weapon against her fellow black person. And that's a damn shame. And that's nothing but coonery behavior. That's nothing but sellout behavior. And it has to be called out. And, you know, I just think that it's about time for black people to stop using the N-word, man. We got to stop using the N-word because, you know, a racist like this guy, that's the first thing that they're going to point to. They're going to say, well, you call each other niggas all the time. So what's the big deal? This is a black woman calling a black man a nigga. So what's the big deal? You say it in your songs and your music and your, your comedy routine. So what's the big deal with me having my wife use the N word? That's what happens because we have made it normal to use the N-word. We have popularized the use of the N-word. You can't turn on any rap song nowadays without hearing the damn N-word. And it's a shame, man. We have embraced our oppression. We've embraced the terminology of our oppressor. And dropping the R from that word doesn't change the history of the word. It doesn't change how we got the word into our vocabulary in our lexicon. So that's one thing, man. And then you have these people um, that will say, well, he's not a racist. He's married a black woman. He's not a racist. He's provided for this black woman. He's taking care of this stepchild and providing them with a decent living and this and that. Man, to hell with that. The slave master gave you a house to live under. The slave master gave you food to eat. But you want to brush aside, you know, the racism, you know, um, brush aside all that because he gives her some material things. If he really cared about her and her people, he wouldn't ask her to do this. And again, it seems like she would have sense enough to say, hell no, I'm not saying nothing crazy like that. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Peace.